This video shows the installation of a Saffold ladder to a second floor exit window. The Saffold ladder should only be installed by a competent person adhering to health and safety recommendations. Personal protective equipment should be worn and working at height regulations observed. The green arrow illustrates the position where the ladder will be installed. Here you can see the contents of the installation kit. Carefully remove all the outer packaging of your ladder. Turn the ladder over and remove the cardboard bracket covers. Open the ladder sections and keep them open with wooden blocks. Here you can see the contents of the joining kit. Please note the difference between the non-threaded and threaded plate. Connect the threaded plate to the inside of the top side of the ladder section. There are no brackets on this side of the ladder. Now prepare the other side of the ladder section in the same way using the non-threaded plate. This is the side with the brackets. Push the two sections together and join them with the connecting plate using the screws and nuts as before. Please note the ridges on the rung for correct orientation. Fit the additional rung that is provided by fitting bolts from the relevant side and carefully tighten the nut from the other side. Do not over tighten. For correct orientation of the rung, please see the rungs either side. Remove the wooden blocks and check that the ladder opens and closes smoothly. Before measuring the length of the ladder, turn the ladder over with the wall brackets facing upwards. Measure the length of the ladder from the bottom of the ladder to the pilot hole. Note the ladder length. Once you have decided how close the ladder needs to be installed to the window, the vertical position of the ladder needs marking. From the ground, measure 40 cm and make a mark on the wall. This is where the bottom of the ladder will need to end. This ensures that when the ladder is deployed, there is enough space for the ladder to fully open. Measure from the 40 cm mark on the wall upwards the length of the ladder. Place a second mark here. At the second mark a hole will be drilled and a pilot screw fitted. This is to enable the ladder to be hung in position during marking of the bracket positions. Fit the plug into the hole and then the screw. Leave approximately 10 mm of the screw standing proud from the wall. Hang the ladder on the pilot screw, ensuring that it hangs straight. Using a centre punch, mark the bracket holes for the bottom bracket of the ladder.
Remove the ladder from the pilot screw. Using the 8mm drill bit, drill the holes marked for the bottom bracket. Change to the 12mm drill bit and finish drilling the hole. Insert the plug. Now rehang the ladder on the pilot screw. Fit the screw into the hole on the bottom bracket. Now mark all the other bracket positions with the centre punch. Mark the position of the bracket with a pencil. After removing the screw on the bottom bracket, remove the ladder from the pilot screw. Using the 8mm drill bit, drill each hole to a depth of approximately 80mm. Change to the 12mm drill bit and drill each hole again. Then fit the plugs to each hole. Hang the ladder back on the pilot screw. Place the washer over each screw and push them through the bracket holes into the plugs. Tighten the screws one bracket at a time. After the screws for a bracket have been tightened, open the ladder to ensure that it can move smoothly before going on to the next bracket. If the wall is curved, the ladder opening mechanism may become stiff. In this case, distance pieces may need fitting to the back of the bracket. These are supplied. Once the ladder is installed, the lock pin will need to be fitted. To avoid accidental loss of this pin, secure it to the ladder with the chain and screw provided. You are now ready to test your ladder. Remove the pin. Open the ladder. Stand on the bottom rung to ensure the ladder is secure. To test your ladder, open the window from the inside and remove the pin. Open the ladder fully. Hold the top rung and straddle the window sill. Ease yourself onto the ladder. Ensure that you have a firm foothold and handhold before descending. Climb slowly down the ladder. For help and advice about the Saffold fold-out ladder, please call 0800 077 6149 or visit www.saffold.co.uk.